Are you praying? Se prende caparaca tos cotto prende get the balatos. Sacre de bele get the balada barantas cati balisa pria hastada. Embre get the paca pras cati la capras cose de get the bele catosia. Sende prende get the bele catos cotto prende get the bele catapra hastada balada box. Sapres catis 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 catis. In Rakata Parato Koto Prende Gete Bele Gete Brandos Koto Balatos Sebrende Gete Bele Ketos Kate Branda Gata Bras Gete Bata In Rakata Parotos Koto Prende Gete Bele Ketos Koto Prende Gete In Rakata Bras Gete Bele Gete Branda Gata Bros Koto Balatata Sabra Gata Parata Gata Prende Gete Bele Gete Brando Ketos Sabranda gata, sabranda gata, gata bros. Ebranda sabranda gata, bere gata bros. Koto bos. Saka sabranda gata, sabranda gata, gata bere gata. Ebranda sabranda bros. Koto bros. Koto bos. Bere gata, sabere bros. Gata bandan bos. Koto bos. Raka sabranda gata, bere gata bros. Koto bere gata. Ebranda sabranda bros. Koto bros. Koto bere gata gata. Saka sabranda gata, bere gata bros. Koto bos. Saka sabranda gata, bere gata bros. Sabranta kata branta kata branta kata palata bosko do bate. Sabre kata me kata branto koto branto koto palaka bos. Kata branta kata palaka bos. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Let your eyes be on Jesus. Si kata branta kata branto koto branto kata palaka. Embra kata paroto koto branta kata palaka bos. Sabranta kata kata palato koto bos. Embra kete barete ke bras koto barusia. Sabranda skate kete barika ti brandi ke belekos. Sabra kete barete ke barete ke balakatos. Sate brande kete bele kete brato kos koto brande ke barahasa de balata. Your life will never be the same. I assure you, your life will never be the same. You are about to encounter grace indeed. Saka te bereke tos kati la baranta ka prende gete balatosia. Sakre te ke parato katusa prende gete. Five more minutes, don't be distracted. Imbra ke te parato skoto prende koto prende gete bereke ta. Sabra ka ta baranta ka skata prende gete barato. Imbra kata breke te berenke te skoto brodosha. Imbre te leke te brosta si ke te leke ta. Sabra kata barato skoto balaka boski adaba. Sabra kata breke te ke te leke te brando skoto brando. Sabra kata barike te brende ke te leke te skoto brada. Ibra kata kata branda kata branda kata balaka dosa kata. Sakri te kosko do branda bras kati branda kata baladus. Sabrende kete bele kete brosko do branda balaka do branda kete bele kata. Sakri te kete branda kete bele kete bras kati baladus. Manda braka ta braka tosko to brende kete bele kete tosko diata. This is part of the meeting. Kate brende kete bele kete braka tosko kate brende kete. Awake thou that sleepest. Manda brende kete braka tosko to brende kete balata. In braka ta brende kato. Awake thou that sleepest. Manda braka ta braka ta braka ta braka ta. Sabrakete brande kete bereke tos koto brande kete. Sabrakete bele kete brande kete bala tos.
Sabra kete bele kete para kosta di pravi kata bala. Hallelujah. Now, please, I want you to listen very carefully because your life is truly about to change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, hear me. There are people who will start running by the anointing. I want you to hold them and bring them out. I want to release a grace for speed, like physically delay, help them so they don't injure themselves. I stretch my hand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic. Everyone here, hold them, usher, please repent with it. In the name of Jesus, whether you are an usher or not, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every yoke of delay, bring them out. I decree and declare, let the grace for speed and unbreathed I stand by this apostolic anointing. May that grace rest upon you now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Life to your ears. Please don't come out at random. It's the Spirit of God that is bringing them out. Bring them out. No more delay. Regardless what has kept you, I release you by the Spirit of grace. Ten years in one year. Ten years in one year. Ten years in one year. Every altar of delay that has tied down any destiny here, every altar of delay that has tied down any individual, at the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus and fire will come upon you. Bring them out, please. Whether you are an usher or not, help the usher. Are you ready now? One, two, Three, shout Jesus! I command a release. I prophesy a release by the Spirit of grace. Shaka tapa kata brenda kata bay. Anam braske, something is happening to your soil. Brandeke paraka kosta diapa. Embreke de katus kote brenda kete. Listen to me. I want to prophesy to you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. 
everything that was stolen. Everything that was lost. And everything that was stolen. Now hear me. Please listen carefully. Don't be distracted. As I walked into this place, I was hearing the sounds of chains. That was what I was hearing. Chains that have held families down. Chains that have held many for many generations. I'm about to release you by the Spirit. Now hear me. At the count of three, if God be God, as you shout Jesus, every altar over Anambra, I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic, by ancestry and inheritance and witchcraft. For the Bible says, now the Lord is that Spirit. And it says, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Are you ready to shout? At the count of three, bring them out. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command on altar, release them now. Release your destiny now. Okay, be broken. Bars of iron, be broken. Okay, be broken. Bars of iron, be broken. Bars of iron be broken. Pattern of darkness be broken. Lord, you took my shame away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing Yeah, yeah, yeah And then them If he owned the earth, the fullness, the walls And he did not own them, we will still be in trouble because the them that are in the earth, this human species, they are the real source of most of this trouble. So we need to know if he also has control over those men. Because there are men who are gatekeepers. They can sit down and say, nobody from this family will get a job. They would have been right, except for the fact that there is one called the father of spirits. Do you know what that means? Every spirit on earth is subject to his beck and call. When he calls you, you must hear him. Pharaoh what came upon him after 430 years that charm like effect on Pharaoh he got up and said take gold take silver it was a miracle enough to let them go but God said let me show you that just because you own a space in my property the earth is the Lord's and he commanded Pharaoh and Pharaoh gave the resources and them that dwell there in him oh Miracles validate that Jesus is Lord. The Lordship. Lordship means he's his owner. You will never get a job in Abuja. You will never get a contract. You will never get that political position. There is a way we do it. You may be right, but don't let the Lord speak. Because when he speaks, let me tell you this. He is able to overturn Anything you say before he speaks, you are wasting your time. Because when he speaks, if one plus one is supposed to be two, it is two only when God has not spoken. One plus one plus God is equal to the answer he puts there. Whatever he puts there, he can make one plus one plus him equal to one million. 
because he is called I am. So your small efforts plus your little or no connection. Now you are adding God to it this night. You wait and see what the answer becomes. Oh yes sir. Oh that warm Jacob. Weak person. Yes you are weak. Yes from a weak family. But add God to that equation. And watch what the answer becomes. The Lordship of Jesus. Revealed through signs and wonders. You don't clap for people when things happen naturally. Do you clap for me for walking? It is natural to walk. Why should you clap when I'm walking? It's human to walk. But when an agency lifts me beyond that which is affordable as far as the world of men is concerned, then he is glorified. Many of you, by the power of the Holy Spirit this night, the Holy Ghost will pick you on a flight. And distinguish you in a way that by the time you return, when men are saying what happened you will also join them and say honestly if i tell you i know the entire calculation i will be lying the only thing i know is that in the midst of my effort my confusion and whatever god stepped in and changed the answer you know we just finished a series on the mysteries of the kingdom so we are not ignorant people we understand the laws of the spirit however in the dealings of God, there is space for His sovereignty. He can choose. He can choose as an act of His sovereignty to veto whatever is happening or not happening and just say, I have decided that in this family, I have come to them and He will lift you. God is able to do that. Listen, 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 listen. Principles are powerful and will continue to honor principles. But whilst you honor principles, keep a space in your mind that the God we are talking about is not a robot. El Shaddai. Listen, let me tell you how powerful God is. This may be the road to your miracle, the road to your result. Are we together now? And others are following it. You may follow this. Sincerely believing you are right. God will take that thing and bring it here. To make sure that you get it right. He does not only lead you to the right place. He can bring the right place to you. Listen. When the Bible says for we know. I hope you know when you miss a road you are in trouble. You are in trouble because of the destination. There are times God moves you to the destination, but there are times He moves the destination to you. He's still the same God. I believe this about Him. Because many of you already, if God is to turn you back from where you are, it will take another five years to catch up with where you should be. So he will take it. Whatever you would have met, he will come and put it. This is what speed is about. This is what restoration is about. The Lordship. One more time, we need to let this, our arrogant earth, know that Jesus is still Lord. Because sometimes, just because he's quiet, men make a lot of Boastful statement Politically Economically When a great man keeps quiet You should find out why So God keeps quiet for many years While people make noise And beat their chest and say Over my dead body if anybody rises in this family And then one day God says Are you done with your rubbish Let me show you that I am God He will pick the weakest And lift that person You will not even know why you are rising. You will be finding out as you rise. Because you are not sure. You see, when others are clapping and say, I know how I came here. For you, your only answer will be your knees. To say, Lord, I can't say I truly understand how this happened. I only know I started 
and then I was preached by the wings of the spirit. Listen, this is how some of us got here. There are questions we cannot answer. We replace the answer with yeah. Every time we are confused. How did you rise like this? I just know that I believe scripture, but there is a there is there is a complicated calculation that I do not know. Woe betides a man who can explain everything about his lifting. It's not God that lifted you. Whether political, there must be a gap that only the size of God can fill in your story. There must be, if it's God, no matter how you calculate it, there must be a space where you will tell people, honestly, this is where I stop. I don't know how this one happened. He does it like that so that men will fear him. The sovereignty of God should not replace our loyalty to principles. But let me tell you this. The best of us in obeying these principles will still default because we are humans. So while he's watching you, his, his power is trailing you. And when he looks at you and he sees that time is going and the unit of destiny is time, he will say, son, let me pick you. And this is how he will carry you. Let me speak to someone this night already. In the name of Jesus, who is the lifter of men, I decree and declare, in no time your world will look at you with shock and wonder. May the lifter of men lift you. May the lifter of men lift you. Please sit down. We are going to pray shortly. One area I know where only God can truly explain is the lifting of men. There is a science to wealth and prosperity. You can sit down and provide value here and there and then you just have resources. But when it has to do with lifting, the variables are many. You can do everything right and you are ready for promotion and someone says, because you are this tribe or this gender, I had a problem with your father because he died. Since he's not around, you are the one who will pay the price. And God says, who is... Who is, who is attempting to be me there? Do you believe what I'm sharing tonight? Because you see, sometimes believers become so afraid just because of the things men say. Oh, you won't rise. Oh, oh come on. We're talking God. Every one of us seated here, respectfully speaking, and I mean I do not mean to insult your pedigree in any way, but every one of us seated here was once a baby in the hands of a woman. None of us here is an ancient of days. Even Satan is older than us. But there is an ancient monarch. He's been sitting for a very long time. He has watched proud kings rise and fall he has watched humble people from their lowly estate he's lifted he has watched this thing he's seen poor people lifted in one day he's seen men in samaria say if god opens this window so when god says by tomorrow monday you will return rejoicing be careful to not make the mistake that was made in samaria listen to me Believers, the God we serve is not a governor. The God we serve is not a president. And there's nothing wrong with this. The God we serve is not an ambassador of a place. The God we serve was not given land to occupy. He was not voted into power. The, you have to understand this about God. The Bible says in the beginning, not from the beginning. We don't even know what happened. When Moses was writing, he said, where do I start this from? He just said, in the beginning. He couldn't have said from the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Where was he before he created them? Because he was not in the heavens, he was not in the earth. 
The word eternity means the summation of infinite dispensations. We do not even know which one we are with respect to his blueprint. The, the devil that you are talking about, read your Bible. There was a time when he was not part of the equation. This is how genuine Bible faith comes. When you take away your eyes, for as long as you keep looking at that cancer, you are going to see a legitimate medical report. You will see testimonies for as long as you look at that financial situation. The three uncles that will help you have vowed that it's better for them to die than help you. So already you know that nobody is coming to help you there. Then you come to God and God says, please, I have spoken once. I don't speak twice. Go and hear again. The monarch. I have watched how we celebrate kings on earth. I've had the honor and the privilege of meeting a few. And I am amazed at the skill and the energy that is invested to force us to believe that they are great people. Some people can use the skill of a shout. Hail the king! And they push and flog you away no matter who you are. Clear the way for the king. Whether it's Yoruba, Igbo or in the north here, the Emirate systems, we watch the way we celebrate kings. Nothing matters when they are coming. You get out of the way or they deal with you decisively. And whilst the man is watching, they fan him. Hail the king and he's smiling. This is a human being, no? not a spirit. And we fan them. And then he looks at people and says, by tomorrow, give these people rise. And everybody is jumping because a man spoke bless you they know he's rich they don't even know how much yet the man himself is still looking for money the man himself may still be having problems in his house but just with respect to what he has we celebrate before you receive from god find out who is talking to you find out who is saying i will bless you find out who is saying i will exalt you above the nations of the earth did he not know that visa is hard when he spoke did he not know that your loved ones may have gone and left you alone? Hebrews 11 and verse 6. He that cometh to him must come believing. Two things. Number one, Hebrews 11 verse 6. Please give it to us. That he is. That means he exists. Some of you are yet to be sure. This God, is he really alive? He wants to answer you tonight. Because you've been asking that thing for a long time. Number two, he exists, but he's also a rewarder. He wraps himself in light, and darkness strives to hide. They tremble at his voice. How great is our God? Will you sing with me? How great is our God? Oh, sing how great, how great is our Abraham, come out of your father's house as a visionless idol worshiper. In awe of the Chaldeans, come, I will make you great. I will make your name great. Bless them that bless you. Cost them that cost you. In thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And that farmer got up not knowing where he was going. I believe you one step after another until he truly became the father of nations he met a little village girl called hadassah wondering what to make out of her life and she just heard that the king was looking for 
a queen and the uncle said you try who knows but while she was there other women were talking about what they thought would qualify them but she went to Haggai the keeper of the king's virgins he said you know the king what does he want and he said do you want me to tell you there is an oil I will give you rub on your body for one year after that you go and stand if it has to do with the king it cannot be natural let this oil smear it on yourself and yet there was a king who built a statue of 90 feet and said when you hear what he does, blow the trumpet everybody bow worship me and three hebrew boys said king we are not lawless citizens we only have a superior revelation when it has to do with this matter king you are great but you are a great man and they made the fire sev seven times hotter when they jumped into it all of a sudden they saw four men the appearance of the fourth was like the son of the living god were there not three people who were here and they came out and because of that a decree was written a king wanted to be god he turned into an animal a king wanted to be god he died and maggots came out immediately in his body god knows how to bring men down but god knows how to lift men up you can choose what group you want to belong to and let me tell you the formula you want him to bring you down the secret is pride be arrogant and refuse to acknowledge that he is the giver and he's the leader. And then you, he will know how to teach you a lesson there. You want lifting? There is a key to humble yourself. To humble yourself means to acknowledge. You are lifter. Every time I have the opportunity to, thank, to talk to the Lord, I, I spend my time thanking him. And say, Lord, look what you can do with those who fear you, with those who trust you, with those who believe you. For some of you, I'm not wasting your time. We're going to pray. This is a word for you. Some of you, you came here and you think you are just a number in the crowd. But watch the God who lifts. I don't know why the Holy Ghost is speaking about lifting this night. You hear me say it again. Lifting. Do you know what it means to lift? To take you above your current realm of existence. Above your current realm of realities. If you don't believe God is a lifter, you will really suffer in this life. Because remaining at the same level is dangerous. Everything that is alive grows. Lifter. God can lift. He can change levels. When it happens in our world, we have all kinds of cliches. We say, ah, Mr. Man, you are no longer what you used to be. Oh. You are now richer or better or whatever it is. I've told you here, we don't serve God because of all these things. But to believe that he does not do them is another kind of falsehood. You are not holier than the God who wants to lift and prosper. Forever our passion is to seek him for who he is not for money not for lifting but your heavenly father knows that you need these things if you don't know it he's informing you now that you need it you need financial resources brothers and sisters at greater levels you need lifting you need favor our world is surrounded by wicked people full of all kinds of prejudices there has to be a spiritual advantage it's one thing to have what to give but until the lifter lifts you the reason why all of you can see me is because this platform has lifted me i will never stop at this level i am nobody will preach me into believing it is the will of god to remain here no the path of the just is as a shining light It shines brighter and brighter. You should not come and find me where you met me yesterday. I shouldn't come and find you where I met you yesterday. Listen, 
Let me tell you this. We are going to pray shortly. There are territorial spirits that operate in our regions. And their assignment is to make people look like the city. Have you seen people like that? They go to school. They do everything. But the same way the zings are old. The same way the buildings are old. You go back to that city after 15 years. You see what you saw as a baby. You see what you saw there. No growth. And the city, the spirits in those regions turn you to become like that. Let me tell you a testimony. Many years ago, I was in this city and I took a cab. And we got talking with the man. True story. The man was driving me and I engaged him in a conversation. And he began to talk. And he, he said something that I thought was very interesting. He said, Oga, that there is a spirit in this city that makes money not stay in the hands of people. So that he went somewhere or so and someone gave him an advice. That every time he receives money, he should run out of Abuja. And that now he has built a house. It was not what he was saying. I was saying, ah. So there is a spirit that can make you keep earning. 500,000 every month. And at the end of the year, your life looks like yesterday. It's a spirit. A true church must preach Christ and the whole person of God. Including his desire to empower men. Including his desire to lift men. Including his desire to bring acceleration. The only thing we need to do is to reprioritize our focus. So that in the midst of it, Jesus is exalted above all. But to ignore these things in an attempt to say Jesus is above all. Is a costly mistake that we will spend our lifetime paying for. But this night the lifter wants to speak. The lifter wants to lift men. And when God talks of lifting, there are forces that make for lifting. One of them is humility. The other is favor. Favor can lift. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. Then verse 17. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Verse 17. The lifting power of favor and the king loved esther above all the women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of vashti are you ready to pray I made up my mind that I'm not the one who will stop any good thing God wants to do in my life. Lord, if you want to bless me, religion will not stop me from receiving it. If you choose to honor me, glory be to your name. My only vow is that in it you will be glorified and you will be seen. But to reject it because of foolishness and ignorance, I will not be part of that. Everything that comes from God is good, it is perfect. If it kills you, it mingled with flesh. It's not because it came from God. If money destroys you, it's not that money is bad. It's that your own renewed mind and your lack of surrender mixed with that money. And it became something else that God did not give. There is nothing in itself that kills. The state of your heart is what makes any good thing kill. Prosperity does not destroy. Many people preach against prosperity for instance. And yet they are looking for money. Yet they have needs. Yet they have children. We are not talking about self-aggrandizement. No. There are more important kingdom things. What of the lifting? Imagine that God lifts you now. And you become captain over a parasata. Imagine how many people will be blessed. Because of it. You see, the moment you are selfish, you will never see a need to do more and be more. But when you become selfless, you will know that God, you have blessed me. But is this all I can be? He's anointed me and I'm grateful to him. But I continue to tell him, Lord, if ever you are looking for someone to carry a greater level of grace for the nations, you have helped me, but I still am available. I'm not available so that people will come and say Joshua Selma. No. No. If ten people are sick and seven are healed, what if your relative is part of the three that are not healed? Imagine returning from a service. I heard you came for koinonia. What happened? 
I'm sorry we celebrated miracles But I was not there Because of those three We will celebrate and then return back And say Lord there is still more There is still more Hear me Perhaps last miracle service you came And you celebrated Hi guys once again you're welcome to 2024 The year of exceeding great results The year of refreshing The year of fruitfulness The year that's all you've ever desired From the Lord will be made possible in your life and will be granted we trust the lord that his word through the man of his servant apostle joshua selman has come to you in a mighty way believe it this year is going to be fruitful this year is going to be wonderful this year is going to bring all that your heart ever desire bringing them towards your life and everything you set your heart upon this year it's going to be very much accomplished would you like you to stay tuned and ensure you share this message to your loved ones, family and friends. And in case you are a new viewer on this channel, Reflector Hub TV, we do encourage you to please hit the subscribe button and strike the notification bell so as to stay in touch with our regular uploads and get revived. God bless you. I worship you. You are here. Turning lives around I worship you I worship you We call you Waymaker Miracle walk Promise keep Light in the darkness That is who you are We call you Waymaker Promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. One more time. I call you the miracle one. Promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. Please shout it after me. You can give them the mic. Help me, guys. Maybe two or three mics. Just give them. We can have it back. Say in the name of Jesus. One more time. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that every planting that is not of God in and around my life, in and around my destiny, be destroyed right now. Lift your voice and start praying. Hey, Pratush, let the branch of the Pratush the Prakate. Tell us that we must be prakate when we get up. In Prakata Prakata Prakato Prakato Prakate. Hey, Prush, Prati Parush, Kate Kate. Hey, Prush, Kate Parush, Kate Kate. Are you praying? Every planting that is not of God in and around my life. In and around my destiny, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I'd like you to pray. He says, as for me and my house, listen, whether your family members are here or not, you are going to stand in faith with them. Lord, as you are visiting me, wherever they are across this room, let the power of God reach them. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. As for me and my house, as for me and my house, as for me and my house, 
As for me and my house, Hallelujah. 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 James chapter 4 and verse 3. Apostle James is schooling us in prayer. And he's saying that there is a possibility that men can ask and yet not receive. And he tells us why. Because ordinarily, everyone that asketh should receive. But he's saying there exists a possibility that you can ask and still not receive. He says, because you ask amiss. You ask amiss. Amiss means out of patterns. And the pattern is give us this day. You can't say give me everything. You must mention what you desire. He said, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest them and thou shall have them. What things soever ye desire, no assumptions. Give us this day our daily bread. Are you ready to pray? You are going to open your mouth and mention everything or every area you need a visitation. No assumption. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Lift your voice and pray. No assumption. No assumption. It is healing in your body. Declare it. It is a yoke that has sat upon your destiny. Declare it. Hallelujah. 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 Now, here's how we do it here. Please listen. Whilst, whilst I begin to minister, for the sake of time, we have so many things to do this night. And I don't intend to keep us here beyond our normal time. So let me advise you up front, if you are yet to write your prayer request, we have a structure here that somewhere um, as we... As the meeting is ongoing, we'll collate all the requests. Even those online, you can do well to just send in your prayer requests and we'll pray. So if you're yet to do that, please do that. Number two, if a word comes... Now, please hear this. I need to tell us this. It doesn't mean that if a prophetic word does not come carrying your name or carrying descriptions that directly relate to you, it doesn't mean God is not speaking to you. You see, the way God works is that what he says to one, he says to all. So if, for instance, God is speaking over someone who is trusting God for the fruit of the womb, even though it is that particular case I may want to see here, but it doesn't mean that every other person cannot connect. Are we together now? If God is speaking concerning maybe captivity over a family, and then if a prophetic word directly relates to you, Please do well to save us time by coming. At least or indicate if you are not within this auditorium so that we know. These are some of the things that take away so much time. It's not a vigil, so we're limited. 
are we together there's a lot we have to do we have to pray uh, for the sick we have to minister deliverance and so on and so forth but i'd like you to believe that this will be your miracle service that this will be your miracle service in the name of jesus christ tonight i'm i'm really sensing uh, and, and it's a very strange way but i'm sensing that god wants to begin tonight by ministering to those who are in ministry ministers of the gospel those who are currently in ministry and this is what this is what the holy spirit is ministering to me there are people who have churches there are some of you who have groups and for some they just came for greater levels of fire you don't have to come out i want to pray for you and for some of you you have the call of god upon your life but you do not even know and the holy ghost has been looking for you some of you you are the ones destined to lift your family and god has been speaking to you this is the miracle service where he finally finds you hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. 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 I pray right now for everyone who is in ministry and has not been producing the kind of results that the bible says should follow or those who have the genuine call of god upon their lives please i want you to bring those under the anointing as i pray this prayer right now in the name of jesus at the count of three i stretch my hands may fire from heaven rest upon individuals let there be an ignition from the realm of the spirit young and old inside and outside i count three one two Three, take that fire now. Take that fire now. Please bring them out very quickly. Take that fire now. In the name of Jesus, any church that is not growing, any man of God who is struggling in ministry, I bring you the power of the Holy Ghost here at this miracle service. In the name of Jesus Christ, intercessory groups, all kinds of platforms that don't seem to be working, in the name of Jesus, some of you, your ministries to your families, there are altars that God is raising you to fight and tear down. I decree and declare, young and old, may that power come upon you. In the name of Jesus, may that power come upon you. In the name of Jesus, may that power come upon you. In the name of Jesus, may that power come upon you. In the name of Jesus ministry with evidence ministry with proof go and be a deliverer with fire go and be a deliverer it doesn't matter what yoke has sat upon your destiny and your families i decree and declare right now by the power of the holy ghost let there be that impartation of grace impartation of fire upon you impartation of power upon you prophetic ministries prophetic ministries prophetic ministries multiplied visions prophetic ministries particularly prophetic ministries whatever has beclouded your vision so that you don't see again so that you don't hear again receive fire upon your destiny fire upon your destiny the hearing ear the seeing eye the hearing ear the seeing eye in the name of jesus let there be an ignition by the power of the holy ghost the lord is speaking to me about prophetic ministries All of you who are out here, I decree and declare, according to the word of the Lord, step into the grace that has been apportioned for you. In the name of Jesus, 
step into that grace step into that grace right now by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah now alongside these people there are a group of people i want to pray for please hear me the bible says saviors shall come out of zion can i tell you every family every territory has men and women who have been selected god wants to permeate families and bring deliverance but there are individuals that god must find wherever they are here if you are the one anointed and ordained that god will raise you to wipe the tears of your family wherever you are under the sound of my voice at the bakato at the count of three may god locate you it's time for your family to arise may god locate you may god locate you young and old saviors arise by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ arise 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 in the name of jesus it has nothing to do with gender male or female if god has raised you whether you are a gideon or deborah may the power of god come upon you in the name of jesus christ all of you in front i declare by the power of the holy ghost let it be a new season for you now let it be a new season for you now let it be a new season for you now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus please let them go back to their seats quickly if they can let them go back to their seats i want to pray a very serious prayer right now this is a miracle service and the prayer i'm about to pray is a major prayer can i tell you this truly truly causes are real truly yokes are real embargoes are real yes the power of god is there to deliver but it does not happen automatically this is why you are here i want you to pay attention there are patterns i will never stop praying this prayer there are families under the sound of my voice the same thing everybody faces in the family if it's retrogression it happens to everybody if it's delayed it happens to everybody right now i want to pray at the count of three whether you are inside or outside i like you to shout that name jesus and as you shout the power of the holy ghost will rest marvelously upon you there are spirits that will not let destinies go free great people some of you have traveled abroad and even returned back nothing is changing my bible says therefore god has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name that at the mention of that name every family here having any charm or any cause or any ordinance any fraternity with darkness at the count of three may the fire of the holy ghost land upon that family are you ready to shout at the count of three one two three shout jesus right now yokes causes i break causes generational causes patterns of darkness be destroyed now be destroyed now be destroyed now bring them out be destroyed now in the name of jesus every spirit that will not let you go i decree and declare be delivered now in the matchless name of jesus please bring them out quickly help the ushers whether you are an usher or not please help them hallelujah we are still praying we are still praying the lord is delivering many 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 people right now every altar that is sitting on anybody's life 
yokes that will not let you go some of you have dreams you go to bed in the night and hear this oppression comes right now by the power of the holy spirit may that fire locate you wherever you are hallelujah please pay attention there is a marvelous work that god is doing here there are some of you your oppressions have come in dreams you go to bed in the night and all kinds of dreams going back to secondary schools writing exams that don't finish eating all kinds of things fraternizing with dead spirits right now at the count of three makatos kata anyone's destiny under the siege of dreams i declare at the count of three shout jesus again one two three let there be deliverance right now let there be deliverance right now let there be deliverance right now by the power of the holy ghost be broken by the blood of the lamb be broken by the blood of the lamb be broken by the blood of the lamb hallelujah 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 you learn how to walk just do what i am the keeper of the king's women the Bible says no man knows what is in the heart of a man save the spirit of that man. So the spirit searches out. He knows and he tells you there is an anointing that can bring favor. And Esther kept rubbing that oil. It was doing something to her countenance. All the women who were passing the king was looking for because the king knows what the oil should do. And as soon as he saw her, that's I said this is and it was because of her on the throne that the people of God were saved. There is an anointing that can come on a man. Yes, sir. <laughs> there is an anointing that can come on a church. There is an anointing that can come on individuals. It's true. There is an anointing. Do you believe this? We are going to pray. Our time is gone. But I bet you it is worth it. It truly is worth it. That you can get something today. I think it was in this church I demonstrated how the anointing works. Let me show you again. Can I use you my dear? Come. Can I use you to come? I want you to stand there. You are a destiny helper. You are supposed to bring favor. You are the one in need for favor. Alright? All of you walk and pass yourselves. As I illustrate this is our destiny helper passing her there is nothing on her turn around come again look at this your destiny helper is in lagos he keeps passing you every day because the grace on you that should call them the anointing keep coming again the anointing is a voice in the spirit but you came to house of david watch this and something was upon you now watch this listen to what is about to happen to you come walk slowly now where you were about to pass but the anointing starts calling the anointing has a voice you call it coincidence but it's intentional it's a law mantles are falling here today anointing are falling here today for the kings to be born for the things for revival to return for the poor us to arrive Ali Ali Thank you.
baby. The name of the Lord will be glorified in your life. Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will live the Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Jesus grew in wisdom. The race is not to the swift. The battle is not to the strong. Some of us are seated here. You came to house of David this morning with pains that only favor can take away. With financial loads on your head that only favor can change. Prayer point number one, you are going to cry unto God and say, Lord, I, I repent of Hallelujah. people I have neglected. Let me tell you something. I, I want you to really pray and say, people I have kicked out of my life, destiny help us that would have taken me to a glorious level in my life by now. Lift your voice and pray. Kapo shatala kapanarara. Kampratakatala kotosia. People who would have given me relevant information. Those who would have connected me with helpers. Lift your voice and pray. Some of our family members are struggling aimlessly because there are people who can help. Wine pressers, bakers, men who can take you to the king. It's not as hard as it seems. I am convinced it's a destiny help I way. No matter what you need, financial breakthrough, a miracle, a prophetic word, direction in your life. Say, Lord, I repent for neglecting destiny help us. I've let them come and pass. I refuse to activate defining moments in my life. Pray on behalf of your family. Say Lord for my father, for my mother, for my brothers. They would have gotten jobs by now. They would have built houses by now. They would have gotten contracts by now. Doors would have opened. That terminal disease would have left by now. My family would have been together by now. But for the neglect of destiny, help us. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. And I want you to pray this with all your heart. He said, I will restore to you. You are going to pray and say, Lord, let that cycle come back again in my life. Let that cycle I missed as a result of childlessness or pride or arrogance or insensitivity. Lift your voice. Say, Lord, let the helpers come again. Lord, let financial helpers come. Lord, let marital helpers come. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, let academic helpers come. The distance between you and your breakthrough is your wine presser, is your wine baker. It's not hard. Is there anything too hard for God to do? I'm telling you, in one day, God can change your story. In one day, God can change the story of your family members. Restore. Pray. Restore. For my family. Restore, oh God. Opportunities that have been lost. Opportunities. Send them again, oh God. Help us of destiny. Send them again. Reactivate breakthrough. 
reactivate breakthrough. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, and that's going to be our next prayer point. You're going to say, Lord, by the instrument of the prophetic, I call forth they that have been destined to take me to the next level, to take my family. Make sure you are praying. Lord, prophetically, pray. Those who will open doors of jobs, doors of marriages, doors of ministry, doors of anointings, doors of favor, doors of lifting, doors of success, doors of increase, doors of breakthrough. Make sure you are praying. Pray it with all your heart. Your family story can change. You have been praying and fasting. Could this be the message? Could this be the message? Pray. Say, Lord, whether in Lagos or Abuja or Kano or Zamfara, the United States, the Caribbean, by the prophetic power of the Spirit, let there be a connection. Orchestrate a meeting. Let there be a meeting. Pray. Pray. God wants to take you from this level to another. It's a year of supernatural exploits. Exploits by the Spirit. Your story can change. Activate defining moments. Activate breakthrough in your life. Come on, prophesy. I call them. They are coming into my life from the north, the east, the south. I pray for E and I. Destiny help us are coming. We receive them. We receive them. We receive them. We receive them. Hallelujah. Let me give you one little story. Look at me. When Professor Madio passed, you will jump protocols. We are going to pray. Say, Lord, I receive discernment to see these people when they come into my life. Lift up your voice and pray. It takes discernment. It takes discernment. It takes discernment. Say, Lord, let me discern. They may not be my tribe. They may not be my friends. They may be the enemies of our family. But Lord, grace to discern when you are about to use them to change our story. Hallelujah. Final prayer point. Now you are going to pray and speak over your life and tell yourself you are breaking through and breaking forth on the left and right don't keep quiet please don't keep quiet prophesy i break through from the left the right the east the west oh hallelujah i activate breakthroughs I establish it in the name of Jesus by the spirit of prayer I contend against every power of darkness come on pray pray against every satanic force pray against every power of darkness that wants to attempt to abort your breakthrough God wants you to smile God wants you to smile God wants you to smile. He wants to encourage you. He wants your life to be fruitful. Satan, get lost. Be lifted, all ye gates. Let the family of Koinonia receive breakthroughs. I prophesy breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. Breakthrough. Financial breakthrough. Marital breakthrough. Family breakthrough. 
academic breakthrough spiritual breakthrough breakthrough in your job let your family members smile i provoke it from the realm of the spirit i provoke it from the heavens i activate the angelic i activate the angelic let angels begin to move to every family let angels begin to move over your academic angels move over your finances angels move over your family angels move i activate the operation of angels contend with the powers in the heavens and release breakthroughs for god's people let the angelic contend with the powers that delay that stop people from entering their prophetic breakthrough i release breakthroughs i release breakthroughs i release breakthrough i speak it in your life i send an anointing into your life a breaker anointing a breakthrough anointing i send it into your life i send it into your academics i send it into your family i send it into your finances those you do not know i cause them to arise and help you i cause them to arise and help you to start up the year lord spring favor lift your voice and pray lord let that be the sign we agree with you oh god as a ministry give us the sign the first sign for the year undeniable favor favor with men favor with systems favor with institutions favor with governmental personalities let favor bring us revelations from the realm of the spirit let favor bring us strange dimensions of influence let it be a sign and a token oh god that will follow every one koinonia member all through this year we declare favor we prophesy favor we release favor we declare favor we prophesy favor we release favor Hallelujah. Last prayer point. That the God of suddenly that arises overnight. Listen, I want us to pray for a quick walk, not just favor. Lord, arise a quick walk in the lives of people. Lift your voice and pray. God of suddenly. God of suddenly. He says, suddenly there was a sound. Suddenly an imagine. Suddenly a job. Suddenly an admission. Sudden marriage. Sudden children. Sudden lifting. Sudden anointing. Lord, compress time. Compress time. Give your people speed. We invoke you, the God of suddenly. Arise, O God. In this year of signs and wonders. Let it not be according to time. Let it be according to your power. Let it not be according to time. Let it be according to your power. Come on, invoke the God of the suddenly. Arise for me, O God. My helper, a believer. Arise. Watch the tears of those that cry. Silence the lips of mockers. Suddenly, let the lifting come. It's called a year of signs and wonders. Lord, defy the laws of nature. Defy the laws of nature. Arise for people. Change their levels spiritually. Change their levels financially. Don't be tired. We are praying. 
Restore honor to your people. Restore glory to your people. Oh God, I cry to you. Arise. Listen. We are rounding up. Look at me. Jerry, we are still going to pray this prayer and say, Lord, bring speed to my life. Be the God of the suddenness. Settle the issues in my life so that I can have time to serve you. Pray. Settle my life, oh God. Maritally. Settle my life, oh God. Financially. Settle my life, oh God. I want to have the time to serve you. Lord, let the promotion come speedily. Let the spiritual dimension come speedily. Lord, let the gift be at work in my life speedily. Let that level of anointing come to my life speedily. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just give me a few seconds. I want you to make an announcement to principalities and powers that this is not the year for dragging. It's a year when you match things and move. Look, the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. Elijah did not meet any obstacle on the way. Listen, I like you to release your faith with someone near you and challenge every devil that has been programmed to obstruct your work. Satan has a mysterious way of keeping people at a position. Challenge every power. Challenge every devil. Lord, I declare no obstacle on my way. God of Jeshurun, arise. Go before me like a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire consuming everything that is not of God. Yokes from darkness, the spotting bones of men, divination, manipulations in the dark world. I decree and declare the God that is as a pillar of fire is against you. Is against you. My God is a consuming fire. My God is a consuming fire. Burn everything that stands to delay your purposes in my life. Go ahead and pray. This is for your glory, O God. Everything. It has never happened in my family. I'm the first to do it in this year. My life will be a sign and a wonder. 